Scott. We've traveled into the future on October 21st, 2022 at precisely 8.05 a.m. Isn't that wonderful, Marty? Where's Marty? Have you seen a student? His name is Marty McFly. No, get out. Ah! Have you seen a student named Marty McFly? He kind of looks like Michael J. Fox. No, I'm sorry, I haven't. Happy National Back to the Future Day. Except for the third one. That one doesn't count. How do you go back in the past and mess up the future? Make sure to check those movies out. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Brendan Keen. I'm Matthew Pence. And I'm Leslie Fuentes, and we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Cecina's theater department will present three fall plays this weekend. The final public performance for Harvey will be held tomorrow at 7 p.m. The final public performances of The Telltale Heart and If Sherlock Holmes Were a Woman will be held Sunday at 3 p.m. For more info, visit cecina.org theater. If you're looking for a part-time job, this may be for you. Deering Cleaners is looking for after school and Saturday help. The hours are 3.30 to 5.30 during the week and 9 to 4 on Saturdays. Apply in person at Deering Cleaners at 1160 North Arlington. Now to Brennan for today's clubs. The Creative Writing Club will meet Monday at 2.50 in the library. The group will play the Around the World group writing game using scary story prompts. Please bring any scary stories you have written either for class or for fun or for the Irvington Writing Contest. Your group will share those after the game. Contact Ms. Wetzel with any questions. Looking for a fun way to enjoy science, technology, engineering, or math? A call-out meeting for a new STEM club will be held October 27th from 3.30 to 4 p.m. in Room 5. Contact Ms. Smith with any questions. That's it for today's clubs. Now to Leslie for more news. Parking permits are available to purchase. All students who drive to school must have a parking permit on their vehicle. Students must be 16 years, years old and have a valid driver's license. Use the address below to purchase a permit and complete the required form. Please allow three business days. Permits will be available to pick up at the front office. Service opportunities can be found on Canvas. There are a couple of new opportunities through St. Vincent de Paul. Please consider volunteering in some way to meet your service hour requirements and help our community. Contact Mr. Putz with any service hour questions. Now back to Brendan with Day Sports. The football and volleyball teams are competing in playoff games this weekend. We want everyone to show up at both events to cheer on our Crusaders. Please remember that everyone has to purchase tickets since these are playoff games. Also remember that balloons, banners, and or posters are not allowed at playoff games. Noisemakers are not allowed either. Tonight, the football team will host Switzerland County in a first round sectional game. Ivan Duarte has more. Thanks, Brendan. Your Crusaders are eight and one and ranked fifth in class 2A. Switzerland County is four and five and unranked. This game will be played at Beach Grove and will start at 7.30. Tickets cost $7 and are available at the gate for cash only. Pre-sale tickets are still available today, right here in the athletic office. Now back to Brendan for more sports. Thanks, Ivan. Tomorrow, the volleyball team will compete in the regional round of the state tournament at Cascade at 10 a.m. The team will face Park two during a rematch from earlier this season. If the Crusaders win, they will play in the regional championship at 6 p.m., also at Cascade. Tickets cost $10 for the first session or $15 for both sessions. Gates will open at 9 a.m. for the first session. The gym will be cleared at in between sessions and gates will reopen at 5 p.m. for the championship round. The athletic office is looking for students who would be interested in riding a fan bus to the game. The bus would leave around 8.30 a.m. The bus ride is free, but students would need to purchase tickets to the game in the athletic office. This opportunity is available for the first 46 students who sign up in the athletic office. Take advantage of this easy way to support our fellow Crusaders. Good luck to both teams this weekend. In other sports news, the boys' basketball team will work out tomorrow from 10 a.m. to noon. That's it for today's sports. Now to Leslie for more news. Now, let's check out our quote of the day. Now, it's time for another Stater slideshow. This time, we're going with more than sports.
Now to Adriana for a look at our weather forecast. Thanks, Leslie. It's going to be a near perfect day with a high of 72 in partly cloudy skies. It'll drop to 50 overnight, so it should still be in the upper 60s at kickoff for tonight's sectional game at Beach Grove. Take advantage of the mild weather and cheer on the Crusaders as they look to defend their sectional game. It'll be even warmer over the weekend with the highs in the upper 70s and more partly cloudy skies. Enjoy the late season warm weather for the next few days. Now back to Leslie for more news. Thanks, Adriana. Uh, I'm, weather's been great recently, last night, perfect sleeping weather, didn't even need my fan on. Just glad it's warming up. As long as we get no rain or snow, this weather's perfect. Now let's see what we're having for lunch. Today we're having cheese or combo pizza with mixed vegetables. On Monday, it'll be a meatball sub with carrots. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change. Let's see who's celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday. That's it for today's show. Stay, Stay classy, classy and give that a little extra. Come on, Marty. We've got to get back to the 80s.